Welcome to Pickleball Journey. Today we are going to show you how to add 11 miles per hour to your serve. Pew pew! <laughs> Before we start, we want to match the generosity of our good buddy Shay. If you're not subscribed, be sure to check out his channel. We're giving away a brand new Engage Pursuit paddle. Stay tuned for details later on how you can win. All right, guys, we're going to jump right in. We're going to start out by hitting a couple neutral serves, and then we're going to work our way up to a couple tips that we have to increase that serve. We're going to start out with just a normal serve that you see every day, just a drop and then a contact, just nice and normal. We're going to see what it clocks in at. So. 46. 47. Yeah. Nice. 49. So 46, 49. So anywhere you know between 45 and 50 is kind of the range we're looking at as a, as a north neutral serve. We're going to see if we can add a few MPHs on it. He can technically hit harder, but he's worried because of the space that he has. So the first tip that we have for you to increase that speed or be confident in increasing that speed is spinning the ball forward, so giving it top spin. This allows us to get room for error over the net and not hit the ball deep when we're whacking it really hard. So he's going to increase his paddle speed, um, but add that top spin um, onto it so that we can let it, get it dropping in instead of it going too far. Uh, Justin will explain kind of that technique right yeah. here real quick. Yeah, we'll show you how to do this. We do have some pull videos uh, going more in depth for this, but just kind of the brief tutorial. Again, we're having our fingers out like this, and we're spinning the ball off the paddle, uh, off the hand, sorry, forward. So just like this, left hand's going forward. Yep. So again, from this angle, we're spinning it off this way. That's generating the top spin forward. As Elisha mentioned, this allows us to have more margin over the net and have the ball dip down and still come into the court. Yep. So let's hit a couple here. See what clocks in it. All right, 50. Miss that one. Minute. So you'll find that when you do this top spin, um, you will hit a couple in the net because yeah. of just the dip. So you'll kind of you increase that, that height. Nice. 51. Nice. 51. Let's see if we can get like a 53, 54. Ooh, that was a rip. All right, 55. Wow. All right, so we increased that maybe three, three to four miles per hour on that one. We got six. Um, so that allows us to swing a little bit higher while still keeping it in. Um, Justin will explain this next uh, tip in order to increase that speed. Yeah. So the next progression or the thing that we can do to get even more power uh, is getting our weight shifting forward. So I like to do uh, like a little bit of a stutter step. So uh, we'll show you here, just kind of walking up to the line, getting my weight shifting forward. So one thing I want to focus on is not getting too close to the line. Give yourself a little bit of margin for uh, error because we don't want to step on the line. But And to add on to that, making sure we have the same n number of shuffles or skips or whatever you want to call each them. Each time. So each time so that yeah. creates a consistent pattern. So Justin here, he likes to do two, right? Yeah. So Yeah, just about two steps. Boom. I like to, you know, each court's a little bit different. I like to get back as far as possible, yeah. kind of touching the wall or the net if you're playing on a tennis court um, or the fence. And then just, again, kind of shuffling up to the line, swinging, and then I usually follow through with my right foot. So we'll yep. show you a couple of these examples here. Uh, get it clocked in. Yep, we'll get it clocked in here. So again, I'm starting left foot forward, right foot back, and then I kind of shuffle step up. That's 54. 54, so already kind of top, topping out here. 57. Right, new record. Ooh, that was a good one. 10 o'clock. 56. Ooh. Oh boy, look at that. 60. We hit the 60. Hit the 60. Now, before we finish up here, I want to share how you can win this new $200 Engage paddle. First, make sure you're subscribed and then hit the like button. 
finally, leave a comment starting with hashtag win on how you got started playing pickleball. In exactly 10 days on September 24th, we will randomly select a winner and get in touch with you. And hey, if you're not so lucky to win, I've got a 20% discount code for you in the description. And now for a recap of the speed surf. Not everyone in your surf is going to, you know, top out, you know, like that would be 11 miles per hour or more. But in it, if you're enabling yourself to hit this kind of serve, um, you're, we're not saying hit all the time and stuff. This is very difficult to be consistent constantly. But to throw this in every once in a while to show your opponent that you can make this shot, um, you can create variety in your game.